We introduce apparent ridges for non-photorealistic line drawings. They are view-dependent extensions of ridge and valley lines. Given an object, a viewing screen, and a projection from the object to the screen, we define view-dependent curvature as the change in normal of the object as one moves a small distance in the screen. Note that this value increases towards the contours because it takes foreshortening of the object into consideration. Here we see curvature and view-dependent curvature color-coded onto the object. The warmer the color, the higher the value. On front-facing parts of the image, the two values are similar. When the object turns away from the viewer, the view-dependent curvature gets much larger. Apparent ridges are the extrema of this view-dependent curvature. We compare apparent ridges to other lines. Apparent ridges are related to ridges and valleys. Where ridges and valleys do well, apparent ridges are in similar locations. Where ridge and valley lines are too rigid and boxy, apparent ridges modify them to be closer to the contours. While ridge and valley lines are fixed to the surface, apparent ridges slide smoothly along the surface. Apparent ridges are red. Ridges and valleys are purple and brown. Apparent ridges are different from suggestive contours. Both produce pleasing images, but we find that apparent ridges are more appealing in many cases. They produce more natural images for facial features and include lines in convex regions where suggestive contours cannot appear. Line drawings look better when they are thresholded appropriately. Here we compare successive thresholding levels for the three different feature lines.